To. My name is Crispy, and in today's video, I'll be showing you guys how to build and upgrade the Wind Staff on Origins Remastered. Now, before I start this video, I do want to mention that the intro that I was using at the beginning of this video will now be my intro for the rest of my YouTube videos because I think that's way better than my other ones, and I just prefer that one better. But yeah, guys, I'll be showing you guys how to build and upgrade the Wind Staff in this video in one package. So this, if this does help you, be sure to smash that like button and subscribe for more zombie content and Black Ops 3 videos and more Call of Duty videos and all that. But let's go ahead and get into this video. So what you want to do is you want to come to generate or two or generator three and uh, find out which uh foot is open for the robot go ahead and shoot that foot and uh, it will teleport you to its head it'll send you to its head and i've already picked up all these pieces but i'm just showing you and uh, whenever you come inside the robot you'll see the piece it should be right there go ahead and pick it up and exit the robot really simple guys really simple you can get this as the soon as you can get this is about generator four or uh, not generator four i mean round four but uh, yeah then after that you want to come over to the middle of the map and wait for the middle robot to come. They take about two or three minutes to come, but just find out which foot it's open in. Go ahead and shoot that foot, and go ahead and go inside of it. It's really simple. There's all three of the steps to get the pieces are the same. So yeah, go ahead and go inside of here, and you will see the piece right in front of you. It'll be glowing yellow. Alright guys, once you pick that up, just go ahead and exit the robot. And the final piece that you want to pick up is that church. So just wait for the church robot to come, shoot its foot open. And uh, wait for the foot to come and then go inside of its head and then pick up the piece. And then there you go, guys. That's basically how you get all, uh, all three of the pieces. I mean, it's a really easy staff. Not my favorite, but yeah, guys. Um, Let's go ahead and pick it up. The piece right there. And exit the robot. Once you have all those pieces, guys, you want to come over to Generator 4 and come down this wind tunnel. But if you do not have the gramophone, I will be showing you guys the locations right here. So uh, you want to make your way through Pack-A-Punch. Make sure you have all the generators open. You know, that's always good to have. Just make sure you have all the generators open. Come over to pack a punch, and right next to this gobble gun machine, as you can see, I show you. That's one of the uh, maxi drone pieces, so you can you can look for there if you want to. But uh, here's the first location for the gramophone. Here's the second location. They're really next to each other, really easy. So go ahead and pick that up. And if you are lucky, you can find the uh, maxi drone piece right there. So uh, after you get the uh, gramophone, you want to come over down to wind tunnel, and uh, it's next to generator four, I believe. Yeah, generator four. Go ahead and place down the gramophone. You just want to wait for the thing to um, make a portal. Alright, once the portal's made, you want to go ahead and jump through, and uh, go ahead and pick up the crystal, it's going to be a yellow shining crystal, go ahead and pick it up, and uh, you guys are one step away from uh, getting the staff, basically, the regular staff. Alright guys, now you want to go ahead and build a portal, and you want to head back to pack a punch, come down to the excavation site, now before you build a staff, you want to, there's going to be four switches, you want to switch them all to yellow, you don't have to do this, but I recommend this doing this, if you want to upgrade the wind staff, so that's the first switch, just follow my path, and then here's the second switch guys. So just purple, and then switch it to blue, and then switch it to yellow. Then you want to come up these stairs right here. And after you come up these stairs, you want to just drop down. And here's the next switch. This one controls the very bottom one. And yeah, guys, you're going to see it's yellow. And uh, in your game, you might not have the yellow one like I did. So just jump, and then you'll see the next one on the left of mine. So go ahead and build a staff, and there you go, guys. That's how you get the regular one staff. So now let's go ahead and get into the upgrading process. So what you want to do guys is you want to come over back to the wind tunnel and uh, you want to go ahead and jump through the wind portal and uh, yeah and you're, you're going to see whenever you jump through the wind portal on the, whenever you look up you're going to see like a circular like puzzle you can say and uh, shout out to Glitch and Queen for making this little photo right here I'm going to show you guys on the side of my video um, just go ahead and copy this from top to bottom just come back to this video screenshot this whatever just as you can see I'm copying this exact same thing and uh, once you copy it it's very simple you'll get it and you'll solve the chamber puzzle. It's a really, really simple step. Just use that to your guide, and uh, you guys will be good. This next step, what you want to do, guys, is going to be there's going to be three domes around the map. It's going to be in each different locations. The first one's going to be at generator four, and uh, you want to go ahead and shoot this dome right here. And really simple here is so the first location. Just go ahead and shoot it. Now you just want to follow my exact path, and uh, I, th I don't know if it's timed or not. So go ahead, just just run, just fucking boost. You know what I'm saying? Um, so go ahead, follow my path, come through the church, come behind church. You know what I'm saying? And, uh, as you can see right here is the second location. Just jump, shoot. I was just making sure, so I jumped and shot again. There we go. Um, and there you go. As you can see, the smoke changes, I guess. I guess you'll know if the smoke changes, but I'm not sure. Here's the next location. I don't know. I was having a lot of trouble with this. I shot it, like, three times, and on the third time, it worked. So here you go, guys. As you can see, I got it finally. And you'll see that it's, you got them all because you'll see the blue light in the sky. 
and there you go guys so as you can see i saved you all the hassle in order to change all the switches so now all you all I gotta do is just shoot this yellow orb and you guys will be good that's all you gotta do to upgrade the wind staff really really simple staff um not my favorite but you know after that guys you want to come to the wind portal it doesn't matter what portal you come out of or come through and uh, go ahead and place your wind staff in the portal and you'll see that the um wind pedestal will be opened up enlarged go ahead and place it in you guys will be good all you guys can need to do is basically get a couple souls get a couple kills and you guys will be good and that's how you get the ultimate wind staff it's called a boros fury Alright, as you guys can see, you guys will know that the wind staff will be done because it will have a white outline around it. Go ahead and go pick it up and it will, it will be called the Boros Fury. And what this does is if you hold it down, charge it, it will make a tornado. All the zombies near it will be sucked in. But there you go guys, that's the simplest tutorial uh, I can make for the ultimate wind staff. If this did help you, be sure to subscribe and like. Peace out.